Hi, and welcome to Giddy Up Coffee's How to Make Cold Brew Coffee at Home video. Now, rather than using a hot method like an AeroPress, a V60, or a Chemex, we're going to be using a cold drip method, using nothing more than a couple of water bottles and some fantastic coffee. Now, cold brew coffee is a slow mover. It's going to take between 8 to 12 hours. So wherever you set it up, make sure it's okay to be there for that amount of time. Brewed at room temperature, cold brew coffee is very low in acidity and very big on the flavour. Utterly delicious over ice, or you can just stick some in a decanter and put it in the fridge and have it on the weekend. Today, I'll be using La Serrania Cooler Cold Ambient Coffee, roasted by Square Mile Roasters. Let's get to it. So first of all, cut your bottles and remove the top. Invert the bottle and place it over the top of your cup bottle or another decanter or anything you might have. Pop in your filter, wet it and cut another piece out of another filter to place on top. Weigh out 60 grams of coffee, grind it, preferably coarse enough, almost looking like garden clippings. Place it into your filter cone and settle it. Pop your extra piece of filter paper on top, sealing the coffee off. Take one and a quarter litres of water and suspend this bottle, I just used a piece of hanging wire, above your coffee. Using a pin, just ever so slightly pierce the bottom of the water bottle. The bigger this hole is, the faster your flow rate. You want it just to drip, not to stream. There we go, dripping now. Pop that right over the top of your coffee. And now, we wait. And here we have it. The coffee's completely exhausted in the top funnel, and we have between seven and 800 mils of a yield of coffee. Decant this coffee into another container, and then serve over ice, or any way you like, really. So there you have it. Fantastic cold brew coffee at home, without all the mess and the fuss of the expensive equipment. But a word to the wise, it is very high in caffeine, so don't drink it all at once. Thanks for watching.